Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss what fuels are used in cellular respiration. Cellular respiration uh, is composed of three parts, but really it's important to know that it's an extremely efficient process in terms of energy used, so fuel used. The first step of respiration is glycolysis, and glycolysis requires two ATP um, in order to get jump started and, and get glucose to a point where it can be easily broken down. Um, so that was two ATP for glycolysis. The Krebs cycle, as far as I can tell, um, doesn't actually use any fuel sources. And oxidative phosphorylation, or the electron transport chain, um, doesn't require um, energy or fuel per se as well. Um, it generates a proton gradient across the membranes in the mitochondria, and that proton gradient eventually um, drives, drives the production of ATP through an enzyme called ATP synthase. So you could kind of say that the protein gradient is a fuel um, for oxidative phosphorylation. This has been a brief discussion of the fuel used in cellular respiration.